What's up, y'all? It's your girl. <laughs> I don't know. God has me jumping these videos, y'all, because it's almost like he's telling me, I pour out all that I poured into you. Pour out what uh, I've, I've, I've brought to your revelation, your knowledge about me, about how the tricks of the enemy plays, how the enemy plays tricks on you. You know what I'm saying? He just pouring out, talking and pouring out. So I'm back with another video today as I get off work. Uh, you know, and um, I'm just riding down, down the street, <laughs> and God is just asking me, uh, telling me to pour out, make a video about this. He wants me to make a video today about, uh, not even make a video, because it's not even about making a video. It's about sharing the knowledge of the enemy, sharing the knowledge of how the enemy plays against the children of God. It's about sharing his word. It's about sharing uh, things that God has revealed to me that I was not even aware of until I decided to, until uh, God decided to open his eyes, my eyes up uh, to what's going on with how the enemy plays tricks on me and in my life. And then, you know, a lot of it came when I got out of the, um, out of the occult, when I was reading tarot cards and stuff like that. A lot of that, it, it was revealed to me as I got out of that type of environment and started reading the word of God. He started to reveal things to me started opening my eyes to me he, once I started taking in light then darkness then the darkness that was in me on me trying me testing me tempting me light was shining on them dark situations so today um he wants me to share about how you open the door for the enemy to come in and um me and my cousin not long ago were just talking about this subject you open up the door of, for the enemy when you do anything that goes against God's word. Having sex, drinking, ha uh, taking in drugs, any drugs, weed too. You know what I'm saying? Alcohol, drinking alcohol. That's why they changed all the ABC stores to the ABC spirits. Because you're letting in different types of spirits. Different type of alcohol bring in different type of spirits. Different type of drugs bring into your body different type of spirits. Having sex, fornicating. You're laying down with all these different people. You don't know what kind of spirits they have attached to them. And for a woman, you're opening up your flesh to a man that you don't know, you know, if you're if you're promiscuous and out here just having sex with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, you don't know who else they've been laying down with. So not only are you opening up your flesh to a man and laying down with him. You don't know who else he's laid down with. What other type of spirits is connecting themselves with you? Lord have mercy. I remember one time, Lord, I can't believe you got me sharing this. I remember one time I had, uh, before I turned my life over completely over to Christ, that our, our old friend of mine came back around. And we were just laying in the bed before we had got intimate. We were just laying in the bed and he was, he was exposing to me that he had been sleeping with a lesbian and I kicked this man up out of my bed and up out of my house because my thing was at that time I was I was I was be I was knowledgeable about spirits just attaching themselves to you I wasn't <clears throat> I hadn't really re I hadn't re rededicated my life to Christ actually at that time I was still in the occult but even within that I knew about spirits and I knew that spirits attached themselves to you and I was like, well, I ain't trying to let that spirit attach itself to me. Me and you about to have sex. And you let me know that you've been laying with a woman that says she a lesbian. But she's sleeping with me and too. Okay, so not only you trying to let me lay down with that spirit, but this lady conflicted. Confusion. She don't even know she want a man or a woman. So I was like, I'm not about to have sex with you and lay down with you. And you let that spirit get on me. Because that's how it works. So God want me to share and let you know how you open the door for the enemy. And this is the thing. If you've been doing these things, not only are you opening the door for the enemy, not only are you opening the door for the enemy, but you're not aware that you're opening the door for the enemy because you've been opening the door for the enemy for so long. It's, like it, you, it's natural. Until you shut the door on the enemy and start walking with Christ. And then let me tell you, I hate to say this. You shut the, you shut the door on the enemy. I ain't drinking, I ain't having sex, I ain't fornicating, I'm not doing no drugs. I totally commit myself to Christ. Then let's say you slip up and go back out here and do one, you know, a sin against God. Let's say you sin against God. Then you'll have a spiritual attack. See, you don't even know what a spiritual attack is if you are, a, you are, you try, you open, 
respond to every attack that come in the door because you if you ain't never shut the door on no 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 demonic presences, no demonic spirits. You've never shut the door on any demonic spirit. You wide open. That look like you wide open. So you've never experienced. That's where this this message came from. Spiritual attacks. How would you even know a spiritual attack if you never shut the door on the enemy? And the sad thing is, you wide open for the enemy. You've never experienced a spiritual attack because you've been walking with the devil or walking with demonic spirits for so long, they ain't got to attack you. You're doing exactly what they want you to do. Hopping along with them, doing everything they want you to do. You're just being led by the, by the enemy. So you've never had a spiritual attack. How would you know? If How would you know? Close the door on the enemy. Close the door on the enemy. Commit yourself to Christ. Walk right with God. And let's just say you have a slip up. Then you'll get a spiritual attack. Then when you, cause this is the thing. When you slip up, you open the door. And you know, this is the thing. When you open that door and you committed your life with Christ, God will reveal to you what that was that you experienced. However that spiritual attack could come. And then you will know the difference between walking with Christ and getting a spiritual attack. And, and not only would you get a difference, but you'll get a clear understanding of how and when you open the door for the devil to walk straight in. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Listen, I'm telling you, it, it, times are serious. Times are serious and God wants his children to commit their lives to him. Okay? How would you know a spiritual attack if you never even tried to walk right with Christ? And if you haven't never ever in your life walk, tried to walk right with Christ, that means who you walking with? I can hear that song, who you with? Who you with? I can hear that song. If you never been with Christ and walk right with Christ, who you with then? Wow. Wow. Anything that, that's not of God, that anything that's not of God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, is, it's not of him. It's, it's the opposite of him. And there is only one true living spirit that dwells on this earth. And if, and if you commit yourself to Christ, he'll dwell within you. And that's called the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKadosh, is what it is in Hebrew. Ruach HaKadosh. That's the only true spirit. Every other spirit is demonic. I don't care what nobody tell you. Because there's only one true spirit. There are many spirits, but there only there is only one. Lord. Listen, the message was... How would you know a spiritual attack if you never walked with Christ? If you've never said to yourself, that was a spiritual attack, all right, been exposed to a spiritual attack, that means that you walking with something that you, it ain't got no reason to attack you. <laughs> Look, the God say things, things only attack you when you're going against them. The wrong things only attack you when you're going against the wrong and you're going good. You ever heard people say, you know, I, you know, when you get with Christ and walk with Christ, all hell break loose. That's why. Because see, hell don't want to let go of what they had. The devil and demons, them, they don't want to let you go. I've experienced it for myself. And I'm going to tell you, that night in my apartment, when I experienced it, I rededicated my, I rededicated my life to Christ. I fell to my knees. And I rededicated my life to Christ. And guess what? It got worse. It didn't get better. It got worse. The more I read my Bible, the worse it got. See, and that let me know. First, I already seen some demonic things. And then by me doing, falling to my knees and accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior again, that let me know that he's real. Both of them real. 
So you can hear people out here in this world, Jesus ain't real, Jesus was made about white men, this, that, and another. Let me tell you, that he's, Jesus is real, Jesus is real and so is Satan. Now you choose what side you're going to serve. And I'm going to tell you this right here. If you've never been exposed to some type of spiritual attack, you're like, what is that? Ain't no reason for nothing to attack you because you ain't walking on the right side of the road. I hear God say, pick your side. Pick what side you're going to roll with. You know in the Bible it says, uh, I believe it's in Revelation, you either going to be hot or cold for Christ. You either going to be hot or you going to be cold. And everybody know cold things are dead. You going to be on fire for Christ or cold for God for the devil. <laughs> That's death. They don't, don't get it twisted. I mean hot hell and, and heaven. Don't get that twisted. Anything that's cold most time is dead. Most things, things are warm. They, it's something running through their blood. Warm blood. Passion. Fire. Lord have mercy. God is the way. The truth and the light. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I don't, God just got me pouring out. In the mighty name of Jesus, he just got me pouring out. Pouring out the knowledge, the wisdom, for which he has bestowed upon me about tax of the enemy. And it makes me emotional. Because there's so many I know of people that don't even know that they're walking with the devil. That you're walking with the devil. And it probably ain't even intentional. But if you're not walking with Christ, who you with? Who you with? I can hear that song in my head. Lord have mercy. Anyway, I just God got me dropping another video about who you with, who you with, who you gonna be with, who you gonna choose, what side you on, what's right, what's wrong, what's hot, what's cold, what's left, what's right. Lord, have mercy. And I'm going to the house. I done rode the city getting this video out. <laughs> I done rode. Just to get this video out, I rode around. But anyway, choose what, what uh, battlefield you're going to be on. I hear my spirit, choose this day who you shall serve. And then the rest of that scripture say, in me and my house, in me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. That's in Joshua. I don't even know the scripture. I just know it's in Joshua. That's what I hear. Choose this day. Who you going to serve? And I'm going to tell you this. In me and my house, this is my house. My body, my mind, my spirit, my soul. We shall serve the Lord. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next go round. Christ love you. I mean, I love you, but Christ love you more. Happy Tuesday, the very first Tuesday of 2022. Happy Tuesday. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.